know, it makes me feel really good. I'm more into the game. His crowd of friends is a little bit frantic for me. A little boisterous, which can be at times a little annoying. Welcome back to the Commerce Casino's LA Poker Classic. We're down to two, but only one will earn the right to be called champion. Well, for the first time tonight, we have a new chip leader at the final table. His name is Haralibus Vulgaris. He has taken the lead over Michael Mizraki and well-deserved. It is just fearless poker by Haralibus Vulgaris. One of these young men is going to take home nearly $1.9 million and a WPT title. Action back on the grinder from Florida. Michael Mizraki, ace-nine in his hand. 150. Well, he's going to raise it. Makes it 150,000 to go. Likes his starting hand. Nice position. Rolibus Vulgaris. Well, he has certainly been on a roll since we started three-handed play. Everything going his way. In the small blind there, looks down at a kid's game. AC Ducey. Raise. This is no kid's game here. He's going up. Nearly a million dollars difference in first and second place. And Haralibus is going to re-raise him right here. Let's see how much he raises him. Staring down at an ace nine like Michael is, and your opponent's going to re raise you. You're not that crazy about that hand, I can tell you. There is just no stopping this young gun out of Winnipeg, Canada. Let's see what the increment is. Make it 300 more. 300,000 more. Right back in the man from Hollywood, Florida, Michael Mizraki. I'm all in. And he's all this. in. Yeah, he's doing wow. it. Wow. Over the top. Well, you see the Grinders fans out there, they're cheering this move. Pulling in. And Houston, we got a problem here for Haralibus Vulgaris. Yeah, he's going to have a real problem if he calls us that. The Mizraki mob chanting. Well, they're chanting Grinder. He's their man that they're hoping to win, and right now he's in a dominating position to do just that in case Haralibus trips up here and makes this call. Oh, buckle up. It's a shoving match right now. Haralibus looking stunned. How much more does he have left? Well, it's nearly a $2 million re-raise to him. You have me covered, I believe. I'm just wondering. All right. Bad time to wonder. There's going to be about $3 million in the pot. It's going to cost him another $1.9 million to call here. $1.9. $1.9 This could be the defining moment of Haralibus Vulgaris' poker career. Well, he knows if he calls and wins this pot, he'll be the champion. Got a pair yet? Oh, he's going to ask questions. This could be a Greek tragedy for this young man. You talk about a competitor. He gets up from his chair. Man, that's most of the time. That means the guy's strongly considering calling when he does this. He would be in dire straits if he does so. Remember, he just has ace deuce. His opponent has ace nine. And he's worked so hard to get these chips, those precious chips. He's going to let it go. Well, he does lay it down. A good lay down it is. <laughs> you know, in poker, money saved is money earned, and certainly... I think he saved a lot of chips there by laying that hand down. And the Mizraki mob just elated by their boy taking that pot. Well, Vince, it took him one pot to regain his chip lead that he's had all day long. I laid down a hand there. Don't think I can afford to lay down another one. Oh, boy, fireworks happening at the Commerce Casino. The antis and blinds going up. A whopping 60 and 120,000 dollar blinds right now. Michael Misraki with King Six in his hand. My call. Oh. The play it slow, just calls it. Oh. For the second time, he limps in with King High on the button here in this heads up match. And Haralibus checks his 7 3. Here's the flop. Look at this flop. It's King 5 3. Michael's flop top pair. Haralibus is flop bottom pair. Haralibus quickly checks. Michael coming out and betting 200,000. Yep. Raise it up. Haralibus is going to raise it, Vance. Quick check and raise. He doesn't believe Michael has a king. Uh -huh. He thinks he would have raised before the flop. If he had one, he's going to try to take this pot away from him. He's made it 400000 with bottom pair here. I'm all in. Right over the top. Michael's going all in. What he's saying is, if you can beat these kings, my friend, good luck to you. In case you're drawing a diamonds or a straight or a bottom pair, you're going to have to pay to outdraw me. Absolutely sick action at the Commerce Casino. 
Well, Haralibus falls, so power poker by Michael the Grinder, Ms. Rocky, right there to take down that pot. Folks, they're not throwing jabs out here. These are knockout blows. When a guy moves all in like that, he is going right for the throat to try to end it right here, right now. Well, with that we, pot, we the Grinder takes over a million dollar chip lead over Haralibus. We're talking about one of the biggest prize pools in poker history right here. Over $900,000 difference in second place and first place. A lot on the line. Action's going to be on Haralibus. He's got ace four this time. Well, looks like he's getting out some chips. Most players would raise with an ace high in a heads-up situation. No time for passive play. And if you do raise, how much do you raise? Well, he's getting out a lot of chips. It's 300. He's bet 300,000. I'm all in. And before he got it out there, Michael said, I'm all in. <laughs> he's got king queen. I've never seen a guy go all in as quick as this guy does. Oh, that could be very annoying. I can tell you, Haralibus is faced with a tough decision right now. He knows he's facing elimination if he makes this call and loses this pot. Poker panic begin to set in for Haralibus. He has raised it one more time and been set all in again by the grinder. This time, however, he has the best hand. He doesn't know it. He's staring down at his chips. Does he want to gamble here? Can you pull in the money, please? Just that quickly, a no-limit hold. Things three? can turn around. Three. Going into this hand, he had over a million-dollar chip deficit. If he plays it and wins it, he'll have a four million to one million-dollar advantage on his opponent. That's Rocky now, dancing. He's doing the Watutsi here in the disco. Acting very cocky. That's usually a sign of a weaker hand. And is Herolibus going to pick up on that? Well, folks, this is a tough call. If you make this call and lose this pot, you're out of here. You only have an ace four, remember. It's not suited. Well, Miss Rocky, as we know, he has a king-queen in his hand. He would actually be a slight dog if he should get called down. I call. He's done it, Vince. Yes, he has. Oh, he has made the call. It's a correct decision. He is the favorite to win this pot and double up. Exactly right. Exactly what I put him on. I put him on. Absolutely clairvoyant. Well, folks, if you can read your opponent that good, you are a top-notch poker player. There's no doubt about that. And what a hand this is. Malibus Mulgair is pacing the floor. He's looking very confident. Over $4.2 million in this pot. If Haralibus wins it, he'll have a 4-1 to chip advantage over Michael. If Michael wins it, this tournament is history, and he'll be our champion. And the Haralibus gang going nuts there in the crowd, up on their feet. The Grinders fans know that if he comes back and wins this pot, he'll be crowned our champion. It is Jerry Springer here without the chicks. <laughs> this place is rocking and rolling. Will the ace high hold up? If so... We'll have a new chip leader and a monster chip leader at that. Five cards to come in this very dramatic hand. Crowd truly enjoying this battle. Here comes the flop. Nine, seven, eight. That's good for Haralibus. His ace is still out in front. Well, Michael is looking for Picasso right now. He needs some paint to come up there if he wants to win this pot. And if he should get it, he would take this young man out. He must catch a king or a queen or a running jack ten. If indeed he's going to win this tournament on this hand. This is Sweat City in L.A. Let's go to the turn card. Rolibus just pacing back and forth. He likes that card. The seven of diamonds. This rock is going to need some help on the river. Well, he must catch a king or a queen. He has six outs. In other words, he has six cards out of 44 remaining in the deck that he can catch to win this pot. The other 38 favor Herolibus. And Michael Mizraki make it happen. One more card to sweat out. If it's a king, he's king. If it's a queen, he's king. Here it is. And it's a judge. In one hand, Herolibus Bulgaris takes a commanding chip lead in this tournament. High five for the Herolibus gang. I saw pace. I saw pace. Well, I can tell you, Vance, that was not an easy call to make exactly before the flop of an ace four exactly off suit. What I put them on. To call $1.8 million, if you lose the pot, you're out. A tough decision. He made the correct one. He lives on. It's not over. 
But Michael Mizraki is down exactly right now. He only has about a million left. His opponent has 4.2 million. He's coming back. He has heart. Don't go away. We're coming back from the LA Poker Classic when we return on the World Poker Tour. He's going all in here. Africa Dava just like that. Tony has done it. The arms are raised up above. The sixth WPT millionaire made here at the LA Poker Classic. Antonio the Magician Espondiari. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour, and the two left at the table are guaranteed a great payout tonight. That is true, but only one will earn the $1,850,000 plus be able to call himself a WPT champion. Well, how quickly the tide turns and no limit hold him. Right now, Horalibus Vulgaris with over a four to one chip lead over the guy who's led all day long, Michael Mizraki. What a turn of events. It is turned around in a big way. Horalibus now out in front. Action's gonna be on Mizraki. I'm all in. And look at this, he's going all in with it. I call. And quickly, Horalibus calls him a two five. He's got a legitimate pair. Well, this could do it here, folks. If the two fives hold up, Horalis will be our champion. You're due, baby. You're due. Rocky just losing his grip here. Well, you just wonder frustration, depression, all that setting in. He's losing his patience. On the other hand, after being called, he's in about as good a position as he could expect to be in. He's got two over cards against the under pair. Right so here. really, it's almost it's like right a coin here. flip situation. Well, that is very true, but he looks desperate at this point. Imploding before our very eyes, but he could get lucky. Does he have the heart to come back? Only the cards will be able to tell. Sam, I want to see. Well, here we go. Michael Mizraki must win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. Meantime, Horalibus pacing the floor. He could taste this victory. Well, he just continues to remain calm, cool, and collected. But inside, I guarantee you, his heart is pounding away, folks. He knows if he wins this pot, he is our champion. He's just a few cards away from taking down one of the biggest prize pools on the WPT. Here's a flop. Seven. Oh, a seven right in the door. That's great for Mizraki. He's it's hit the pair of sevens. Queen, seven, deuce. And Michael Mizraki has taken the lead in this hand. Oh, man, he rolls his eyes. He can't believe his fate, but he still has to sweat a couple cards. All he has to do now is dodge a five to double up. Now Ms. Rocky comes over and puts his arm around Horalibus. He got the 10 of clubs. Uh, 10 of clubs. He do when he hit the 7. Yeah, he just put both arms around his neck if a 7 hadn't come out there. Here comes the turn card. The 8 comes off. That's a good card for Ms. Rocky still out in front. He's got the old 2 outer. Well, out of 44 cards that are left in the deck, 2 of them are good for Horalibus. 42 of them are good for Michael. Their work is done. They're sweating out the river. There's the river card. So there you go, Michael Mizraki is back in it. Nearly two million dollars in chips. Look at that, he's high-fiving his fans now. He's got the Mizraki mob high-fiving. Well, Vince, they're telling him you can do it. This is not over. Get back in there and fight. Go to work. The Jerry Springer game going to work again. They are having a great time. Chanting going on here. I'll tell you, Vince, I believe this is one of the most enthusiastic crowds that we've ever seen on the World Poker Tour. Makes it a little harder, that's all. Okay, well, it's that time again. The antis and blinds going up. It's $20,000 right now for the ante, with blinds being $100,000 and $200,000. So that means there's $340,000 laying in the center of the table before the cards are dealt. That's worth going after. Play is going to be on Horalibus right now. Horalibus with about a two to one chip advantage. I'm all in. Goes all in with a 7-5 off suit here. Say it ain't so. Well, Ms. Rocky looks a queen nine. Very tough to call all your chips off with queen high. Nope. Wants to wait for a better spot. Because Horalibus is just taking a two in here, moving all in with 7-5 off suit. Nice macho play there by Horalibus. Well, there's no defense against the all-in play events. You have to pick up a hand to play against it, especially when the bet is over $1.8 million to you. This is not pity patty poker we're watching now. These guys are throwing the leather. We're watching exceptional poker by the X generation. Horalibus, just 29 years old. Michael Mizraki, 24. The worst they're going to do is take home 900000 The winner gets $1.9 Action goes on the Canadian. Horalibus 
He's got 9-4 of hearts this time. 